Sega Dreamcast. It was way ahead of its time and still a console fondly remembered to this day, and so we're going to talk 10 things about the Sega Dreamcast. The Dreamcast was Sega's final attempt to conquer the console market up against Sony and Nintendo. Released in Japan on the 27th of November 1998 and to the rest of the world in 1999, the sixth generation console lived a short but eventful life, with one of the most successful console launches in video game history. Unfortunately, a death blow came when Sony announced the PlayStation 2, and after a short race to compete, Sega discontinued the Dreamcast less than three years after the Japanese release and only 18 months into its worldwide career. Sega chose not to use the company logo all over the box of the Dreamcast product in an attempt to disassociate it with the failure of the 32X and the Sega Saturn. It was thought that people would be put off by the Sega brand when releasing the Dreamcast and instead marketed the product with the Dreamcast logo on its own. Also, in different parts of the world, the Dreamcast trademark swirl had different colours for different regions. The PAL versions were blue to avoid legal and trademark disputes with a German video game publisher, Tivola, who used a similar orange swirl in their company logo. North America had a red swirl and the original intended orange swirl was used in Japan. Sega's Dreamcast was the first console with the ability to play games online thanks to a built-in dial-up modem and as online play progressed, a broadband upgrade was made available. Unfortunately, Sega's aptly named SegaNet service, a subscription-based online play model, was short-lived due to the pressure of the PlayStation 2 and the announcement of the Xbox and Nintendo's GameCube. The SegaNet servers were shut down in 2002, but some online games such as Fantasy Star Online are still being played using private servers. Europe's own servers, Dream Arena, stayed active until March 2003. Sega created its very own GD-ROM discs that Dreamcast games will be played on as an alternative to CD-ROMs. They developed these discs to combat piracy, and they also had a higher storage capacity. However, this technology was soon compromised, and Dreamcast games soon became ripped and sold illegally. So for all Sega's effort, the Dreamcast is ironically the easiest console to pirate games on. The Dreamcast was the first console with VGA support, meaning it could be plugged into screens that supported 480p long before high-definition TVs were common. It provided improved picture quality compared to standard composite video or S-video connections, along with support for progressive scan video. The Dreamcast had an amazing number of peripherals, ranging from the first ever motion controller in the form of a fishing rod for the game Sega Bass Fishing, to the Japan-only DreamEye camera. In fact, the Dreamcast had so many accessories that some of them downright bizarre and it's no wonder Sega lost as much money as they did simply to catch the attention of gamers who enjoy the weird and wonderful. Dreamcast was the only major console in the last 20 years not to receive support from the developer Electronic Arts. Although EA had long supported Sega's earlier consoles, it had suffered losses from the Sega Saturn and its premature discontinuation. This resulted in EA not receiving the same licensing conditions it had done previously. EA responded with, you won't succeed without us, to which Sega replied, sure we can, we're Sega. At the time, Dreamcast was home to two of the most expensive games ever made, Shenmue and Shenmue 2. Development costs of the games came in at around 3 billion yen, or 47 million dollars for the first game, and around 4 billion yen, or 70 million dollars for Shenmue 2. To put it into context, for Sega to recoup the budget cost for development on Shenmue, each Dreamcast owner would have needed to purchase the game twice. The last Dreamcast units were sold through the Sega Direct division of Japan in 2006. The last official games made by Sega for the console were Trigger Heart Exelica and Karus, both released in 2007, a whole nine years after the release of the Dreamcast. However, the Dreamcast continues to be supported by small independent developers who release the games on CD-ROMs, not GD-ROMs, and without any official license from Sega. Some honourable mentions go to Rush Rush Rally Racing and Last Hope. The Dreamcast has sold 10.6 million units worldwide, over 4 million in North America, over 2 million in Japan, and nearly 2 million in Europe. The most successful game for the console was of course Sonic Adventure, which sold over 2 million copies. The Dreamcast was named the 8th best console of all time by IGN. And that's 10 cool things about the Sega Dreamcast. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and don't forget to like this episode and subscribe for more from the series.